Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today, we're gonna to be testing out the four brand new shades of the Pat McGrath Blush Balm Sticks. So, Pat McGrath did just release this shade extension. I believe she released her range of Blush Balm Sticks last year, and she has just released four new shades for spring. So these do each retail for $29 US or 40 Canadian, but she does also have bundles available on her website where you can save a little bit if you buy them in two or four. So I did buy the bundle of four because I wanted to test out all of the new shades. These do have a 36 month shelf life and are made in Italy. So these are available now on Pat McGrath's website. And these can be used on the cheeks or the lips. I prefer them just for the cheeks. And I did review one of these shades last year. I had purchased the Divine Rose shade, and this is just a really pretty rosy neutral shade. So you'll see from this swatch that these are a more sheer formula, but I also find them to be quite a long wearing formula. So I do really enjoy this particular formula, especially in the summer when I'm just looking for some really quick makeup. But I thought we would try on all four shades today and then I'll let you know at the end which ones are my favorites. So let's take a look at some swatches. So I am going to start with Divine Rose Glow because I want to see it next to the original Divine Rose. And I'm not seeing much of a difference. So we have the original Divine Rose and then Divine Rose Glow. I would say if anything, Divine Rose Glow is slightly deeper, but there's really not much of a difference there. Next, we have Alluring Nude, which actually comes out a bit peachy compared to the Divine Rose. Next, we have this very vibrant fuchsia called Luscious Lotus. That's really pretty. And I like this one because I'm not gonna have anything like this in my collection already. So I like that this is going to be a bit more unique. And the fourth and final shade is called Electric Bloom Glow. So these are the four new shades. This is the original Divine Rose. I'm a little disappointed that Divine Rose Glow is Still quite similar to the Divine Rose, but the other three shades are looking very, very pretty. So I'm thinking I'm going to try on the two brighter shades first. That way I can end up with a more neutral. So let's start on this side. First, we will start out with Electric Bloom Glow. And I like to take these off the stick with a brush just so that I can get the most control with it. And then I'm going to lightly stipple that onto my cheeks. Now this is a bit more of a sheer formula. So if the shade looks a little bit intimidating, it will blend. And this is actually not looking very orange on the cheeks. It looks very orange in the component, but on the cheeks, it's really just more of a bright fuchsia, which is kind of surprising. So I definitely went in way too heavy, but I'm just gonna take this off anyway so that I can try on another shade. So I'm not worried about that, but this is Electric Bloom Glow. And then once again, I am a little sad that this is just essentially a pink shade on my skin because it looks in the stick like it's going to be a beautiful beautiful orange and I thought that would be a really unique color for my collection especially going into summer but it's really just a bright pink I don't know I'm kind of I'm a little sad about that but let's get into the next shade so on the other side we are going in to luscious lotus which is this very very bright pink almost aggressive kind of pink and once again taking a brush off the stick and like I mentioned, these are a very sheer formula. So even if the shade looks a little bit intimidating on the stick, when you blend it onto the skin, it's going to be very, very wearable. I also find these to be a relatively long wearing formula. Okay, so here is Luscious Lotus all blended out. Definitely way more wearable than it looks. It looks to be very bright, very vibrant. At first I thought maybe not for my skin tone, but this actually blended out to be a very, very pretty bright pink. So over here we have Electric Bloom Glow, and over here we have Luscious Lotus. They both ended up being more of a bright pink formula. I kind of like Luscious Lotus a little bit more, and they do have their differences. This one, I guess, this one, if anything, leans a little bit more into those peachy tones, whereas this one is definitely more pink, but 
I really don't think you would need both of these. But let me pop off camera, take these off, and then we will get into trying on the other two shades. All right, so let's go in first with Divine Rose Glow. This one is definitely coming off a lot softer than the first two that we tried out. It's quite a pretty shade though. It is nice and buildable. It definitely does have a glow to it. It is quite pretty. So that is Divine Rose Glow. I do think it's quite pretty, but definitely glowy. So just keep that in mind. And the final shade is Alluring Nude, which came off a lot more peach in the swatch than I expected. I was definitely expecting a more neutral mauve tone out of this one. Oh, that is a really nice nude blush though, actually. I actually really love this shade on my skin. It is very, very light, and it's reminding me quite a bit of the Not Too Much shade from Patrick Ta from his new shade extension as well. It's kind of reminding me a lot of that shade. It's got like a peachy hint to it, but it's definitely a very nude blush. I think this is one that's going to work very, very well for more fair skin, but I don't see it working the best for deeper skin tones, unfortunately. Divine Rose Glow is also quite sheer, but also very, very pretty. I do think this is a nice one for fair skin as well. The first two shades that we tried out, Luscious Lotus and Electric Bloom Glow, they are beautiful and definitely work on my skin as well because they are so sheer, but they are definitely going to be amazing for medium to maybe deeper skin tones. So for a very brief comparison, the only other balmy blush that I really have in my collection is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil. This is also very sheer, very balmy. I have the shade Barely Blushing and I've swatched it beside Alluring Nude. So you can see them both right there. Again, both very sheer, both a bit glowy. But I will say that the Pat McGrath sticks last a lot longer than the Makeup by Mario. I love so, so, so many products by Makeup by Mario, but this is not one of them. I just find that this lasts like five minutes on me, whereas the Pat McGrath actually will stick around throughout the day. It will fade, but it won't disappear entirely the way the Makeup by Mario does. So I also wanted to compare Alluring Nude to Not Too Much from Makeup by Mario because I feel like it looks very, very similar on the cheeks. In Swatch, not quite so much the Makeup by Mario. Definitely seems to pull a bit more toward that pinky side, whereas Alluring Nude is a little bit more peach. However, I think they end up looking quite similar on the cheeks, so I think that's interesting. The Patrick Ta, though, of course, is still going to be much more pigmented and long-wearing because it does come with that powder as well, and it's also a more dense cream formula, whereas these are balms. Overall, this is a blush formula I have liked in the past as well. I, Like I said, I reviewed them when they first came out, and I did quite enjoy them. I don't tend to reach for a ton of blush sticks or bronzer sticks, they're just not the most used formulas in my collection, but sometimes when I'm looking for that more sheer payoff, I do. And I also mentioned in a recent video that I tend to reach for cream products in the winter months when my skin is at its very, very driest because my skin really enjoys that extra bit of hydration. So in the winter, I definitely go harder into the cream products. So I definitely reach for these a little bit more then. And I do enjoy this formula. You can see it does fade a bit. It is more sheer. It does sort of melt into the skin and just look almost quite natural in many ways, but I think it's very, very pretty. And still, I find this formula a lot more long wearing than the Makeup by Mario. So that's just something I wanted to mention. I don't think these are necessarily standout products from Pat McGrath. I don't think they're her best work. The components, though pretty, they do feel very inexpensive. However, she does have them at a much lower price point than a lot of products on her website. 29 US dollars is pretty good for Pat McGrath, but again, you're not getting the most luxurious components here. Now, my favorite shades, I would definitely say Alluring Nude. Again, looking at it here, it really just looks like it's melted into my skin. It's giving me such a natural blushed look. It's not too much. I like that it's really soft. It's really blendable. I just love how soft it is. 
Divine Rose Glow is also quite pretty. It has a very similar effect. It melts into the skin. It's definitely a bit brighter than Alluring Nude and I do think it's a bit glowier. I was a little bit disappointed to see how similarly it looked to the original Divine Rose, but I still think it's very pretty. Do you need both? Absolutely not. If you already have the original Divine Rose, there is a slight difference between the two, but I really don't think you need both. But I do think this one is a little bit glowier. All of these blushes are a little bit glowy because like I said, they are bomb sticks, so they all have a certain amount of glow to them but Divine Rose Glow definitely has a bit more. Then we have Electric Bloom Glow. So this one I was actually quite sad about because this looks like it is going to be a really bright, vibrant orange. I'm not sure if that's coming off on camera, but you can see from the stick, it looks like it's going to be this intense, vibrant, bright orange, but it really just ends up being more of a, kind of like a reddish pink. And when you blend it out, it just looks a little bit more like a fuchsia. I was kind of sad because I was excited to have a unique blush shade in my collection. Am I going to reach for orange blush every day? No, absolutely not. But I thought it would be fun to have something like that, especially going into the summer and especially to have something new in my collection. So I was a little disappointed that this really just ends up blending out to look like a fuchsia shade. I think it's pretty. I will definitely wear it but I was a little disappointed. And Luscious Lotus is very, very pretty. It doesn't really pretend to be anything it's not. It really just ends up blending out to be a bit more of a bright pink as well. It ends up looking kind of similar to Electric Bloom, but Electric Bloom seems to have a little bit more of a peachy tone to it, whereas this one leans heavily into the pink. I think they're both pretty. I do think Luscious Lotus and Electric Bloom are going to be better for deeper skin tones, maybe medium to deep, depending, but I think if you're fair, Alluring Nude and Divine Rose Glow are beautiful for you. If I could only pick one, I would pick up Alluring Nude. Like I said, for me, it's a beautiful everyday blush shade. I think it's perfect. If you wanted to pick up one of the brighter shades, I would go with Luscious Lotus, which is that bright pink because it doesn't pretend to be something it's not. If you're planning to go with Electric Bloom because of that orange, definitely skip it because that's not what it is, unfortunately. So my favorite is definitely Alluring Nude and Divine Rose Glow followed by Luscious Lotus and then Electric Bloom Glow. So let me know down below if you're planning to pick up any of these new shades. Did you already? Have you tried them out? Let me know your thoughts. Do you even like this formula? But let me know all of your thoughts down below. I just love hearing from you guys so, so much. And I hope this cheek swatch video was helpful. I always find these to be quite fun. But that is it for me today. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!